<laughs> well, welcome back to a well-weighted video with the Wheaton News crew. Cross country had their last meet on the 29th in Staples. <gasps> on the 18th, we traveled to Graceville and... Hey, what if, what if someone went over? Listen, someone goes over and talks to him. We all speak in the back. Unbeatable, it's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, and then on the 19th, football played Sabika and they took the dub. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> then heavy A break occurred and we had our Underwood tournament. That's that's all we gotta say about that. Okay. Hey, we didn't get last. Okay. Fine. <laughs> on the 24th, we won round one of playoffs against Hancock at home. And if Kanan has footage of that, it'll be inserted right now. Well, our volleyball season didn't turn out how we wanted. We won against Hancock, but round two we had a hard battle against BBE in a very close set and sadly lost. Don't talk about it. Tears will form. We're moving on. It's fine. She's actually crying. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. But on, the, on. Uh, but on the 29th, the boys played Sabika for round one and obviously came out on top. Italian instead of Reagan, obviously. Well, we're going to the bank. Oh, yeah. We won. 37 to 0. Woohoo! Do you guys have anything to say for the Connor Goodhart show? Um, just one. We're going to the bank! We're going to the bank. It's going to be warm and I won't freeze. 
And Patrick Mahomes been there. <laughs> okay. Woo! That's all. That's all. <laughs> Basketball starts on Mondays, the 14th. We were grinding in the gym today, balling like curry. It's fun. After school, and we will continue with that tradition. Mm -hmm. Well, that about sums it up. See ya! We messed it up! Okay, okay, but ready? Three, two, one. See ya! Joseph Vaughn's here with your CGB Sports News. This just in, there are no CGB Sports. They're done. Football, done. Cross country, done. Volleyball, done. Go home. Brady's not here because um, we forgot to film the past couple times. So I'm doing it right now. Sorry, Brady, you're not gonna be in this one. You can Photoshop Brady like his head floating right here if you really want. Um, I'm gonna eat and talk. No, I shouldn't say eat and talk, but I'm gonna eat because I just got off work. So, news on Herman. Um, I can't remember when's the last time we even, me and Brady filmed or what we talked about. Um, football boys are going to state. They won the Fargo Dome. I'm sure Wheaton talked about that. If Brady was here, he'd make us something stupid, but he's not. Sorry, Brady. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know. I can't remember any, I don't think of anything going on. The only big thing is the boys going to Buffalo to play for state football. Girls basketball starts. Monday. Um, um, yeah, Herman's got nothing. These chicken strips though, bust him. Oh my gosh, I, I'm like blinking out and then once I quit recording, I'm gonna think of something. Yeah, Herman's got nothing. Maybe I'll do an interview tomorrow if I remember or interview some people. Sorry, Connor. Say your name. Anna Bright. Jordan. Jordan Perry. Jordan Perry. Um, <laughs> we just got back from Briley Schultz committing to, what's, what's the Carney. Carney. Carney, Nebraska. She's a whooper. Woo! Woo! There's a clip. Woo! -hoo! Okay, here's the clip of that. It's for the Connor Bear Show. <laughs> Football team. So, football team. Football team's going to stay. What's your guys' yep. prediction? I think they're going to win. I think we're going to win. Yep. And we're going to win. We're going, going to the bank. We're going to the bank. Yep. Bank, 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 bank. Um, are you guys, like, excited for the weather on no, no, it's going to be so cold. Yeah, it's going to be really cold, but it'll still be worth it. It'll be worth it. It's like, bank. <laughs> um, okay. Um, oh, basketball predictions. We just talked to mm. head coach Levi Schultz. We did. And no morning practice. Oh! oh I, I mean, play. oh, <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, darn it. How do you guys think the season's going to go? Anna? I think it's going to go good, and the stats are going to be wonderful. Yes, Anna's our senior stats this year. <laughs> um, Jordan is our... Um, you're a fuck. You're a junior. Junior what? What do you? What's your? What do you even play? What do you like? I don't even know. You don't guard. even know. You're, you're a guard. guard. Okay. A guard. A guard. Sure. Okay. How do you guys? How How do you think overall the season? I think it's gonna be really good. Boys, Cut you, that out. What? <laughs> Bye. Because you said I was awkward. I didn't say you were awkward. I said it got <laughs> awkward because it got quiet in here. Like that. Like that gets awkward when it's okay. silent. Yeah, just cut, cut this all. Just cut this all out. <laughs> Jordan, how is the season gonna go? For it's us? gonna be really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Ready? New question. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isaac. So. You guys know Agus from the Agus show. Um, in Fargo on Friday, he got his ears pierced, and I'll get in a clip of that and a picture here. Here's a clip and picture. Okay. Um, how do you guys think he looks with his new drip ice on? Um, I'm still a little confused as to why. Yeah, he got I'm just it, a but confused. But you know what? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. 
he likes it so <laughs> here i'll explain why he got it so basically like i was gonna get mine down at claire's i was gonna get like a little helix one up here but claire's doesn't do that so i backed out because I, I couldn't do it but derek said he wouldn't do it and then he called his mom his mom said he wouldn't do it and then his sister said he wouldn't do it so then he did it he basically he basically did it to prove a point that he would do it oh hey go and get who am i here with michaela bartram okay what are your predictions for the football game on thursday tomorrow actually um i think it's gonna be a close game but hoping we'll take the dub taking the dub who am i here with Emily Jerky. What are your predictions for the football game tomorrow? Oh, like the score or who's going to win? Or like who's going to win? Like, I think mean? I think we're going to win. We're going to win. win. Like, by like 24. Okay. Who am I here with again? Anna Bright. What are your predictions for the game? Uh, I think we're going to win. Okay, good. What's your name? Austin. How do you think the game's going to go tomorrow? They're going to get done. Oh, okay. What's your name? Vance Redner. How do you think the game's gonna go tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, good. Good. Okay. What's your name? Not doing this. Sh oh, please! It's for Connor's show. It's for Connor. I. It's one question I'm asking you. How, what you think that happens in a game, or how do you think the game's gonna go? What's your name? Marshall. How do you think the game's gonna go tomorrow? Good. What position do you play? Quarterback. Okay. What's your name? Charlie Bloom. How do you think the football game is going to go tomorrow? I think they sh they're supposed to win. They're, they're going to win, but then they're going to pull a last year and get They're going to win. Hi, I'm Berkeley Herbert. And I'm Gracie Gravener. Welcome back to Hot Guy of the Week, starring us. This week, our theme is boy bands. At the bottom of the pyramid. Big time rush. Because they're not as talented as the other two bands, but they're still pretty. At number two is the Jonas Brothers. They're at number two because they excluded their brother, <laughs> their little brother Frankie, and that is not Gucci of them. At the top of the pyramid, One Direction. That's an obvious one, because everything they do is perfection, even since they broke up. Harry's hair, perfection. Niall's hair. Oh, perfection. Louis in general. Zane's tats. Perfection. <laughs> and I think Liam is extremely mid, but I really jammed the song. Strip that down. Now it's time for Hot or Not. Are the members of One Direction hot or not? Yeah, I think they're drop dead gorgeous. Are the members of One Direction hot or not? No, not even close. Are the members of One Direction hot or not? No. Hello and welcome to Random Knowledge. I am your host, Ashton, and I will be giving you some random knowledge facts. First, I have to say some stuff. I haven't been on the show for a while, but I, I did say that I was making a comeback. Here I am. Secondly, as you probably noticed, I've changed the topic. I'm not good at giving advice, and I thought this was easier. Alright, now I have some of stuff, let's say some more stuff. We've all wondered what WWW stands for in a web address. Well, it stands for World Wide Web. It's mostly used as a prefix, however, it does indicate that a g given website uses HTTP to communicate. The main difference between them is WWW and HTTP is that they refer to different concepts. And by the way, none of this was copy and pasted from the internet. And don't you dare go look. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Welcome to Words of the Week with Wyatt. This week's word is walnut. Yeah. Thanks again. Come back next week. Hi. I'm Emily Rose. Welcome to I'm going to tell you my ups and downs from the month of October because I haven't done this in a while. Sorry, Connor. Um, um, literally October 1st. I came home from NDSU and hit a deer and I haven't had my car since and it's been literally five weeks since I've had my car. Um, so the first week I didn't have my car. I didn't have any car at all up at school. I, my mom literally had to bring me back to Fargo the next day after I crashed my car. And then. The next week, 
I had my grandma's minivan. We literally call it the egg because it looks like a damn egg. But then ever since I've had my mom's Tahoe, it's huge, hard to park. Easier to park than the egg, but I just missed my car. But I should have it week of like the 14th of November. Still, that's a really long time. Um, oh, also, when I, the week that I didn't have a car, I was extremely sick. The video in the last episode of the Connor Kardashian chart when I was in my egg, I was in the egg, drinking Gatorade, listening to ABBA, I was in the Walgreens parking lot getting drugs, and I, like, barely remember that trip because I had such a bad head cold and I was on night. I was pretty sure I took NyQuil during the day accidentally on those days, it might have been that day. So I was taking every single drug known to man. Let's see if I have any pictures and videos from that. I also had the- I woke up one of those days with a sore throat from Satan. That's how bad the sore throat was. I, it hurt to live. It hurt to be alive. That's how bad it was. Um other bad things I can't think of any other really bad things I mean there's been little things here and there but I don't know good things though good things Taylor Swift released a new album I love Taylor Swift me and my friend Jenna are obsessed with Taylor Swift and um she's going on tour and we're hoping we can get tickets to go to her concert. That would be so cool. I've been to her concert. I went to her, like, her red tour in like literally 10 years ago. And I still remember every detail of it. So I think it would be cool if we could go again. Um, I think that's all I have for now. Well, maybe something really bad will happen to me and I'll have something I'll have a good story to tell you next time. But for now, this has been Ups and Downs with me, Emily Barker. What did the DJ name his kid? Eric? And let's not forget about today's sponsor. Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Cheeseburger family. Hello, Connor Goodhart Show watchers and enjoyers. It's me, Lil Jussie, back at it again with another music review segment. We have a lot to talk about in this music segment, so let's get into the funny music reviews. Woo! Last time, I didn't give a score to the songs I reviewed, so I'll make up for it today by doing it now, because I feel these songs deserve their scores, despite what others would have to say. For Disneyland Dream, I give it a 4 out of 5. And for Drippy Day, I give it a 3 out of 4. I'm very sorry for this unbelievable mistake and I'll make sure it never happens again unbelievable let's not forget about our sponsors Cheez-Its I unfortunately have some bad news in regarding the music side of the Connor Goodhart show the musician Soda released a song by the name of the rapture the song had good rhythm and I liked its real, uh, lyrics reads. They were done excellently, in my opinion. But it has been unfairly age restricted, meaning that the video has only gotten 20 views and less than two likes. And all the producers do is lay around and watch as it falls into obscurity. I guess you could say that Joe has suffered and all his work has amounted to a quiet action. In honor of the fallen, I give this song a six out of nine. Hello everybody, it's me, Lil Jesse Rat. As you may or may not have noticed, I've cleaned myself up a bit since the last music review, and that's because I got some big news. My music video has released with extremely good ratings, netting 220 views and 7 likes in less than a week. But that's not even the best part. My music video has made it onto the top 10 
Kiki Kitty music playlist. Surely a successful feat to have been made. I am truly honored. Paul, as for the official review of the basketball song, all I have to say is it's a must watch. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you have seen it, go watch it. As for my final score for basketball, I give it a 5 out of 5. The first perfect out of the entire series. Well, that's all the time I have for this week's segment, as I don't want to take the spotlight away from the rest of the show. I'll see you all next time, where I'll be reviewing... Pickle Jar? You'll just have to stop by and see. I'll be here, waiting. See you next week.